so it was a very silly and very small mistake uh, what they were expecting is index output like this right and i don't know like why this is a big problem sending index as a zero like this it is like breaking all the test cases so we have to send index as an object this an object and when you run this all the test cases will pass rest all the logic is very basic i mean we are not doing any rocket science here it's very plain and very basic setup we have done all the test cases are passing we will submit the code now we will move to another problem and which is about the problem one this is recipe filter okay so what we are doing here is this is an id this is ingredients and we are going to filter out the recipes okay examples like this so shopping list response is 400 ids is not found id3 id3 then okay let's read this your company is creating new recipe management the request is recipe management list and ids return the list of all the aggregated ingredients containing the matching ids in the query parameter so ids is like comma separated list of ids which the ingredients have been aggregated uh, so let's say this one is the id1 so all the ingredients i'm sending back okay so here id is equal to 3 so for id is 3 i'm sending the ingredients let's see the code So here is the recipes. So if I pass quantity one, we just need to respond with the ingredients. Like let's say ID three, ID three has these three ingredients. Okay, one cup, one TSP. But why it is showing multiple ingredients? okay yeah so this is the example when you are passing id is equal to three so example explanation is not there the routes to fetch all the aggregated ingredients for the matching recipe the query parameter id is mandatory server should re respond 400 if the query parameter id is blank not present if none of the id is passed match with the id is present in the data store the server should send the updated 400 Okay. Okay, let's see this. From a separated list of IDs, which the ingredient have to be aggregated. For the IDs that match with any recipe, IDs present in the recipe, which is containing the recipe dot JSON. All the known matching IDs can be ignored entirely from the response. So if I just pass the ID three, that means I need to aggregate the response of these three ingredients i mean this is what i think of recipe router and we can just do is app dot get so we can do is simply router dot get this is the path and then here we have request and response right and our path is we are just passing the ids so recipe shopping list So here is our recipe so the next route is shopping list so router.get shopping list right and here we can get the query parameter const ids so ids will be a string i guess so what we can do is request dot query dot ids if none of this is passing then we will pass as an empty array here we already have condition the query parameter id is mandatory if the if this is not found response dot status 400 and bad request and here if none of the id passed in the if none of the ids passed match with the ids present in the data store the server should return 400 got it so whatever the ids we are passing we don't need to worry about if that is a numeric or that is a string so so this is ids array we are getting 
and that is an id is an, as an array currently this is id so we can just split that id is array equal to id is dot split with the comma and that will give us the id is array and now we can simply loop on to this recipe and here we can say is ingredient array and we can run a loop onto this for const recipe of recipes we will get each and every recipes and then we will compare the ids and here we will just check if the ids array dot includes ids array is there ids array dot includes so first of all ids should be array ids dot length if equal equal to zero then we are sending this otherwise recipe dot includes recipe ids array dot includes recipe dot id so this is our recipe dot json so we just need to check recipe dot id If this is there, right? If this is the condition, then ingredient dot push. What we will, we are what we are going to push here is the ingredient of the recipe inside recipe dot JSON. We can see there is ingredients. So we will just push that item. And how should we do this? because we just need to push the recipe dot dot ingredient so either we can spread them and then do the push or we can just simply concat them right so let's use it as a let whatever is in the ing and we will spread the recipe dot ingredient okay ingredients we will spread this and we will combine both of these array into one so we will get the ingredient array and then finally we can check if inz dot length is greater than zero then do this else do this response dot status 404 dot send not found otherwise we got the results response dot send 200 and we got the ingredient array i'm not sure if it is we are going to return it as in json object dot json we can say and we are sending the ingredient array I know uh, there may be cases where it is going to fail, but let's try to see how it is going to work. We can return this. So, okay, this terminal gives us a lot more clear picture. It's better to run these codes locally. Unhandled rejection, expected 500, blah, blah. So, first, should response back with 404 if none of the IDs match. Okay, that is correct. 12, 32, 33. So this is coming as a string array, and that is coming as a number array. So IDs array dot includes response dot ID dot string. What should we do? Because IDs array is a string array, and we are trying to include the numeric. So should I do it to string? I would like to do this test. Okay, this was the bug. Looks like in our code. Uh, now, if I try to execute npm and test again. Okay, three passing. 
Uh, looks like we have some good news. We're passing one failing, right? And why this first one is failing? So let's see the test case. Uh, I don't know, like we are doing correct. This test case is response dot status 400. If we are not passing any IDs, that we are returning response dot status dot send. I think that is missing. That's why it is complaining. Because until unless we don't send it, it will not pass it. I think. Now I can submit this. Oh man, this is like a lot of exercise. I mean, very small, small things when we are just executing these test cases, which are really like uh, on live programming, you don't do these kind of mistakes. Like when you are trying to do the includes, array.includes, if you're trying to do it with a string array and you're trying to include any numeric, then obviously it will become false. And now I can execute the tests here also. This will pass. And we are good, we will submit it. So we are submitting this on the time. It took a little bit more time, which I didn't expect. But yeah, we were able to get this done. So that 